Oh, what's this? What are you looking at, soldier? Like what you see? Who, who are you? There's no point in your knowing, soldier. Trust me, the answer is only to bring you misfortune. It's worth when we won't use. Uh, I'm a wandering one. Wonder It appears this woman is a drow, and it appears known to... I found uh, something. Let's head out. Well, this didn't go well. Can you rest now? You're so awesome. No. Did we find trouble? How about now? Well, they did. <laughs> did you see that? Can we retreat already? No, what is Hot that? Attack. Reveal, dearest darling, beauty mine, why doesn't thou... Okay. 
Now look, it's not a demon at all. Gather demons at all. Greetings, kind friend and rescuer. I am Grandmother Glotten and Theater Director, and these are my members of my company. Granny, that's not a label. That's one of the props for the Merchant Lich performance. The one that Tana was made. It's the scepter or something. She made, she made out my ladle. She wanted to use a broom handle, but I, but I put paid draft idea. <coughs> oh, I've seen your show. You are very funny, especially your play where you play where the woman slowly climbs into the chair and sl singing and falls off again. Well, it's actually a great fear tra tragedy. A <laughs> Quite love, and the chair you see is a crest of a tower, rocking and raging, singing a giant. And the woman, she isn't supposed to fall. She's swing abyss. Uh, we were rehearsing our from our prophetic. Really, when I'm scared, I eat. Uh, can you go somewhere safe? Oh, don't worry about our account. We'll be going to the basement next to our street, where is and the demon is lurking. We're not afraid of the demons lurking. Lurking? Lurking says the dwarf. Our male lead. He'll protect us. Uh, thank you again for rescuing us, stranger. Today I did a great service for my culture. Perhaps the culture of all it will certainly recommend in future years. And certainly. Oh, next. Okay. Do not fear. I'll cut you Do one not open. Wait her. Distract them for me. Aim carefully. Too late for a pass. Forwards. The city has fallen at last. How glorious. Now I can stop pretending to be a shopkeeper and spread all my time on the truth. Nominating the dead. Oh god. Be careful, everyone. awaits us.
so sweet is it to kill. Appreciate this. Right, okay. I am helpful. I'm am I not? not? Okay, we need to rest a bit. Demand Watch. your blood. Don't you just die already? I am helpful, am I not? Follow my steps. What do we have here? She can do it. Okay. You're not bad at spell casting. Where did you study? Here and there, but I give up all my lessons just to be able to drink the way you do and not end up under the table. <laughs> nice. Inventory weight is too great. Uh. Right, we good now? Can we? peeps we ride there's someone on the road get ready continue all right then let's see who's on the road and the first person on the road is okay oh hello who are you 
Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Oh. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. Oh. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. Oh. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Uh, who, who are you and what are you doing? Here? Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? <laughs> I like this girl already. Who? Oh, them. Just an audience. They don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. That is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. <laughs> this experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course, everybody knows that. Yep. And a cow. I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for <laughs> And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. <laughs> Gone. Hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there. Come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Yeah. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer. <laughs> <laughs> am I in? <laughs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? B A F A Oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was going to be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, wait. You there. How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? <laughs> Grab her and tie her up and her entire entourage too. The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, <laughs> the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're going to start hitting each other, aren't you? Please proceed. I won't interrupt. Enemy near. Do again. The absence of an answer is an answer. What are you? Who are you? Oh, hello. The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, boy? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. 
Which colors does the goddess Ayomade prefer? I am the one asking questions here. Answer them, and then I'll satisfy your curiosity. Oh, which one was it? I think. It's not so uncommon, it's too obvious, right? This answer is correct. Oh! It's comforting to meet at least one educated person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Canabra's today. Let's proceed. Did Aradin take part in any crusade before he died? Your answer is correct. Aradin's death dates to 4606, and that is precisely the year when the world wound was opened. The first crusade started back in 4622. Your knowledge would make Mendev's crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Arilu Vorlesh bears? Is she the architect of the world wound, the lord of the labyrinth, or the border acquisitor of the shapeless abyss? I am, yeah. That's okay. You're positive that Aradin is known as the. That's correct. Most excellent. You successfully answered all of my questions. Splendid. Mm. Amazing. This is a breakthrough. This. Oh, I thank you for your cooperation. That's boring. I'm about to uh, finish. So just give me a couple more seconds. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, Nenio, cool. a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. Nice! It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. Okay. And I must admit that you passed the test with flying colors. Yay! This does offer a glimmer of hope for the future of Crusade. I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It pleases me to see that I was correct. Yeah. So you're trying to say that I'm mediocre? Yes. <laughs> Why are you calling me boy? I have a name, you know. I apologize for an injury to your ego. But your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of the universe. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. To avoid unnecessary confusion, I'd prefer to not know it at all. Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the world wound? To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me, perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. Excellent. You're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. 27 crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of that my That awfuls. Offer. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. Same here. Uh, we shall get rid of you and put you instead. Okay. Let's get the loot. And I will end things on that note with uh, Nano joining our team. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.